Whether choosing ammunition for defensive purposes or being just an enthusiast in this field, it's always difficult to classify the top cream of all the various types of best shotguns out in the market. Shotguns are ranked and classified according to their ranges, size of bullet, barrel length, design, reliability, value for money and various other factors like speed of loading ammunition, all depending on the purpose that it is intended to be used for. Shotguns digest more shells in a season than most rifles will in a lifetime. They get knocked around in the uplands, splattered with mud in the marsh, and shot and shot and shot at the range. A lot of people don't like the idea of spending any more than necessary on a gun that has to take such abuse. This list of the best budget shotguns is for them, the practical among us, who will skip a frill here or an engraved pheasant there in order to get the most bang for the buck. Here are 10 shotguns, plus a bonus gun, that represent extremely good values in their categories. One of them is most likely the best budget shotgun you can buy for the type of hunting you do. But this sort of list is bound to ruffle some feathers. So if your favorite gun didn't make the cut, let us know in the comments section. Beretta A400 XL Beretta's A400 XL is practically the only semi-auto you'll see in the hands of serious sporting clay shooters. Known as the blue gun, it's somewhat pricey for a semi-auto at over $1,500, a little more with a highly worthwhile kickoff recoil reducer. On the other hand, it can go head-to-head -head with a far more expensive, up to $12,000, Krieghoff, Galar, Parazzi, and Beretta O slash us in top-level sporting competition. And that makes it a real bargain. Diane Sorrentino, who is a dominant shooter in women's events, will shoot nothing else. Berettas are famous for working practically forever without cleaning, not that you wouldn't, but you could, and rarely malfunctioning. They are a snap to maintain when you do have to take them apart, too. With 3-inch chambers, the XL could double as a duck or dove gun, although the blue receiver might offend game birds. CZ Drake The CZ Drake's price tag reads like a typo. No OU should cost as little as it does, yet it's a solid gun that gives you all the advantages of a break action, two chokes, compact balance, at a low-end semi-auto cost. Made in Turkey, the Drake comes in 12, 20, 28, and .410. It doesn't have much in the way of engraving or fancy wood, and its extractors lift spent shells instead of kicking them out like ejectors. In short, it's a bare-bones OU that works, and that's no small thing at under $700, complete with hard case and five choke tubes. Ithaca Gun Company Model 37 All but dead and buried by multiple bankruptcies and transplanted from New York to Ohio, Ithaca is again producing the legendary Model 37. A John Browning design, the 37 loads and ejects through the bottom and has a wonderfully slick pumping action. The sleek 28 gauge is available in three grades. Built on a light 28 gauge specific action, it moves on birds as swift as a falcon. Savvy hunters realize how versatile and ballistically potent the 28 gauge is. This lovely little shotgun, complete with screw and chokes, is an unmatched pleasure in the field. From $999. Beretta A300 Outlander when people ask me what they should buy for a first shotgun, I point them to the A300. Like the SA-08, it's based on second-generation technology, but in this case, it's a budget version of the excellent Beretta 391, simplified, changed a little, and made in the United States. The least expensive model is the synthetic version, which features spacers that let you change the stock length up to an inch to fit smaller shooters. The gas system is famously reliable, and the gun shoots all loads without adjustment. Really, this is a tough gun to beat at any price. Remington V3 Remington's V3 uses the ingeniously simple Versa support system, which was developed for the 3.5-inch Versamax so it could shoot everything from the lightest to the heaviest loads with reliability and low recoil. Not all gas guns can make that claim, even models that cost much more than the humble V3. It's not a good-looking gun, but it is loaded with inner beauty. It's lightweight, has a great trigger, and it's very easy to maintain. I have hunted and shot with a few, including the one I own, and they have all been perfect, even in extreme cold. Available in 12 gauge only, you can find them new for around $800. Update, as with the 870 Express above, it's not clear if Remington's new owner will continue to produce the V3, but it is still offered new by some retailers. Winchester Super X4 a recent member in the family of Browning slash Winchester semi-autos spawned by the Browning Gold back in the 90s, the X4 is made to be a budget gun, but it still comes packed with features. A redesign of the X3, 
It features a larger square safety, as well as a larger bolt handle and bolt release button for easier use in cold weather. It has a bright, true glow bead, too, for those who like them. Inside, it has the same excellent, reliable, easy to maintain, soft shooting gas system of the Gold Slash X2 Slash X3 family. The 3 inch, 12 gauge, black synthetic model can be had for as low as $800, and a 3.5 inch version is about $100 more. Browning Synergy CX Originally intended to replace the venerable Satori OU, the Synergy is a futuristically styled ugly duckling that never caught on as it should have. It's an excellent design, with a very low profile receiver and an action built to last practically forever and a very crisp mechanical trigger. Repositioned in the market as a lower priced alternative to the Satori, it comes in target and field versions in 12, 20, 28, and .410 for around $1,900. But the real bargain in the Synergy lineup is the CX Field and Target model, which comes in 12 gauge with 30 or 32 inch barrels. Choose 32 inch for targets, or 30 if you want a gun for targets and hunting, and you'll never look back. Yes, the matte finish is cheap and shows any ding as a white scar, but the CX can be found for only $1,600, and it will see you through summer targets, September doves, and fall waterfowl seasons. Remington 870 Express The most popular shotgun of all time, the 870 pump, was introduced in a budget Express version in 1987 with a planar finish and a hardwood stock. It has a steel receiver and twin action bars to keep its stroke smooth. It was sold in both hardwood or synthetic in 3 inch 12 or 20, as well as a few in .410. Again, you get no frills here, and the finish is quick to rust and requires care but inside it is the same reliable gun shooters have relied on since 1950. Mossberg Maverick 88 Made in Mexico, the Maverick 88 is a budget Mossberg 500, which seems like a redundancy. It's essentially the same gun but with a cross-bolt safety in place of the 500S top safety. The 88 is also the least expensive pump gun I could find, undercutting the Chinese-made Savage 320 by $7. For just a little over $200, you get a lock, stock, and barrel, plus one choke tube and a middle bead. It comes in black plastic, 3 inch, 12 gauge only, and weighs about 7 pounds. I have shot 25 straight on the skeet field with a Model 88, which suggests they shoot where you point them, and I've seen them work reliably in the field, too. Stoger M3000 If you yearn for an Indertia semi-auto but don't have the cash for a Benelli or an A5, the Stoger M3000 may be for you. Owned by Benelli, Turkish gunmaker Stoger turns out eerily similar semi-autos at a much lower price. Although you do give up something in fit and finish, the M3000 has the same lightweight and slim lines of a Benelli, and the same reliable action that's known for running in the worst weather conditions. As Turkish semi-autos improve, the Stoger becomes a better and better option, and with an affordable street price it's less than half the price of a Benelli.